computer. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I will be sharing a tutorial on how to use chat GPT to optimize your LinkedIn profile in less than 10 minutes. Exactly. You're not going to spend a lot of time doing it. It's very fast, efficient. And by the time you're done, you have a LinkedIn profile that is attractive to potential hiring managers looking for project management professionals. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're new year, hey, my name is Agaga Johnson and I help aspiring and established project management professionals to start and grow successful project management careers. And on this channel, I share everything about a career in project management, including life lessons from my project management career and business. So if you're interested in project management, interested in advancing or starting a career in project management, then click on the subscribe button and let's learn together. All right, like I said, we're going to be using Chat GPT to optimize our LinkedIn profile. And I'm so excited about this. So, first of all, what is Chat GPT? So, I asked Chat GPT, hey, what is it? What is Chat GPT? And here's what it said. So, it said that Chat GPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI and it's used to generate human like based responses. You can ask questions, any question at all. And, um, you know, it will give you responses and that's quite interesting. So we are going to be using chat GPT to optimize our LinkedIn profile. The first thing you need to do, step one is to gather your information. So what this means is that, you know, what does your LinkedIn profile contain? Basically you need information about yourself. So, you need to gather information on your work experience, information on your certifications, on your skills, and also information on your education. So gather them. And you don't need to look, look too far <laughs> to gather this information. You can get the information from your resume, but ensure that your resume is updated, optimized before you use it. And if you're wondering, how do I optimize my resume, especially my experience section, then I have a video up here, click on it to help you know how to optimize your resume. So we're using an optimized resume in this video. So for example, you can see I gathered my experience, I gathered my skills, I gathered my um, certifications and also my education now background. I gathered everything and I put it in a notepad because I want everything to be there because I'm going to feed chat GPT with this information and tell it to optimize the information to create a LinkedIn profile. Then step number two, open chat GPT platform. And then what you need to do is put in a prompt and then put in this information you've gathered and ask it to present an optimized LinkedIn profile. So for this example, I went into chat GPT and I said, see my professional experience, certification, skills, and education below. Could you please use the information to create a compelling LinkedIn profile that is attractive to potential project management employers. And then once I did that, I put in my, you know, experience and all that, that I've gathered, which was on the notepad, just copied it, put it there. Also, what I told you to do was ensure that it has, you know, when you do it, it has a summary because I wanted a summary that I could put in the about section. And I also wanted it to tell me, you know, the experience, optimize my experience, bullet points and my skills as well. So see, it was a very lovely summary for me, it says experience and certified project manager with a proven track record of delivering over 50 projects. So basically it used the information in my work experience, not that long. 
<laughs> that long <laughs> information I gathered and my skill set and my certification to create a summary. So you can see it also, you see that it says stops like um, PMP, CSM, Lean Six Sigma, Black Belt Certified. And it put that I'm also skilled in stakeholder management. Those are my other skills. It used that to create the summary. And then also it created, you know, an optimized experience um, section as well. But if you notice, you only put one, you know, my first, my most recent experience, that's what it optimized. So what you can do after you've seen this result is take, you know, let's say you have three, um, experience, um, professional experience that you want to put on LinkedIn. So it's, that's taking the most recent one. So what you do after it's giving you the results is take the second one with the bullet points, put it in here and put a prompt, say, um, optimize my resume bullet points and make it, you know, outcome focused, result oriented for my LinkedIn profile experience section. Do that, put it on there and it will give you the optimized version that you can now put on your LinkedIn profile for like your experience number two, experience number three, and then also it has your skills and all. So you have ChatGPT now, optimize your information that you've gathered into what you can use for your LinkedIn profile. Step number three, this step is very important. It is review and edit the outcome. So you don't just take everything ChatGPT has done. Yes, it's done a really good job, right? Made it so beautiful. However, one thing I always recommend is for you to review what it has done, review the outcome, and then edit that outcome, okay? So like you can see, um, what I did was I copied the outcome that he had. I put it on my notepad and then I did a couple of edits to it because I wanted to, um, add in a little bit of things that he might have taken out that I feel, Oh no, this should be there, you know, correct a couple of things and just, you know, personalize it more to make it better. So what I always say is that, you know, what I put into chat GPT, for example, let's say it was 80% optimized. Chat GPT now made it, you know, 95% more optimized. So by doing step three, what I'm doing is I'm adding that extra 5% that will make it a hundred percent optimized to really attract the potential employers. Step number four, the step you're waiting for, <laughs> open your LinkedIn profile, go to every section in your LinkedIn profile and impute the data literally. So basically what was generated for the work experience section, go to the work experience section, put it in what was generated for the summary, which is your about take and put it in, you know, the skills section, take, put it in there, the subscription section, take, put it in there. And once you're done, you will have an optimized LinkedIn profile in under 10 minutes. Like I optimized my LinkedIn profile using this exact steps and I was able to do it in less than 10 minutes. An additional tip that you can use to further optimize your LinkedIn profile, just like it was said um, in chat GPT, right? When it helped us, let's read it. So it said that um, endorsement and recommendations can be added to showcase your skill and experience and to provide social proof for your potential employer. That is very essential. So, you know, in that recommendation section, you can send it to like a colleague, your manager, someone you've worked with and tell them to write a recommendation for you. It actually helps um, people to see that, oh yeah, this person's actually endorsing you. All right. So that is great. Another thing that you should do is ensure you have a professional head shot in your profile picture. That's also important. And then your headline, you can also create your headline using chat GPT. So just put in your current job title, put in your skills, maybe three skills, two skills, and then also what your expertise is in. Put it there and tell chat GPT to create a headline for you. Follow the steps. And when you do so, you would have optimized your LinkedIn profile and you'll start attracting potential project management employers. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with anyone that would need this video. Also, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section and I'll be able to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.